Oh god. What was I gonna say? Um there's a spider flying out. This is still going to be a music video channel. Don't worry. I'm still gonna do music videos. I am also going to bring you guys along on the journey of my life because I feel like it and because I do really exciting things that I feel like you should all be part of. I hang out with cute babies. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I don't really do any exciting things. What? I don't know who's talking. Anyways, so I don't want today to be, you know, just an intro video, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tell you a little story. So I was at the DMV the other day, which, you know, who likes the DMV? If you like the DMV, I don't know. I was gonna say hit thumbs up, but that won't give many thumbs up on my video. So I was at the DMV and I was renewing my license pretty close to my, like, expiration date, which is really rare for me because whenever the last time I had to renew my license was... <laughs> Guys, why do I live at home? So whenever the last time I had to renew my license, um, I waited like seven months. Like I got pulled over by a cop and they didn't even give me a ticket. I just started crying. So the DMV, I was really surprised. has actually done something to try to make life easier. I've installed machines in some offices that make it so you can get in line and you can renew the registration on your vehicle without actually having to deal with the craziness that is the DMV. Waiting in line, taking a number, sitting down for half a century and waiting as they call every other letter and number but yours. So there's this machine that they made. And I thought when I sat down, I was like, wow, I can't believe like the DMV has done anything convenient at all. Is that Dan, is he home? I don't know, but they did. So. I'm sitting there and there's a line of about nine people behind me. I'm not for the registration, I'm getting my license renewed, but there's like nine people in this line. And they're all waiting and the one guy's at the machine and he's like, oh, what? Oh, throwing his arms up in the air and some woman like waddles out from behind the counter. She comes over and she looks at the machine. She goes, it's out of paper, turns around and walks away. And I'm assuming she was going to get the paper at this point. I don't know where else she would be walking to, but as she's walking away, the whole line starts flipping out. You start like, like yelling, not yelling, I'm a little bit dramatic, but like shouting expletives. Oh, what the heck, oh man, oh, da, da. And security comes over, which keep in mind, security at the DMV, he's gotta be like in his late 60s, I'm not even sure. But security comes over and the woman turns around, everyone's flipping out and the woman turns around, no, 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 you know what? We're not gonna put the paper in the machine. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, and everyone in the line goes, oh, and she's like, no, mm -mm. Nope, too bad. Turns around and walks into her office and shuts the door and proceeded to not load the paper in the machine. And all I could think about was, is she not aware that her job is not to punish these full grown adults, but to do the job that she's being paid for? I don't know. So I guess I wanna know in the comment section down below. I wanna know if you guys have ever had a crap experience with a bad employee. Someone who does something outside of their job. They feel it's their job to teach you a lesson. That's better. Have you ever dealt with an employee who felt it was their job to teach you some kind of lesson? Because I really feel like we've all had them. So let me know in the comment section down below. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a fantabulous day. I'll see you next time. Peace out, homies. Okay, that's it.